top 20 most terrifying real life fish ever? Should we do our typical rating list? Let's do our rating and then we can total the score. So we're going to rate every every one on one to five. If there's 20 of them, we'll rate every one on one to five. And that'll give us a total score out of 100. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 20 scariest fish. I swear to God, if you include a gar. We're looking at horrific, strange, creepy, and intimidating. Hey, gars aren't fish. horrific or strange or Sharks, creepy. Number 20, giant catfish. <laughs> Which one? The name says it. Is this the giant Mekong catfish? Look at its eye. Its eye is below its mouth. That's absolutely insane for a catfish. Yeah, I'm not I'm not going to say this is terrifying at all. It's kind of cute. Uh, we'll give it a Well, okay, let's hear what she has to say. And measure nearly 9 feet Aww. in length. It's cute. Dude, the trend continues. Still Remember last time we watched one of these videos, we said the trend of saying that a fish is insanely dangerous and scary and then cutting to a clip of someone holding them? Like, well, that is a red tail catfish. <laughs> that is a completely different catfish. Good try, though. Number 19, barrel eye, also known as spook fish. No, not terrible. Okay, the first one's a one out of now. You know, I'll give the first one a two just because big catfish, I get being slightly afraid. Barrel eye is a one. How is this small, deep sea fish terrifying? Just because the, its head is transparent? Number okay. Uh, not scary at all. That's a one out of five. Number 18, dragonfish. Also a one out of five. Also a deep sea fish that no human will ever encounter. Isn't it like three inches or something? How big is this? Let's, let's get a perspective. Dragonfish size. Let's get a perspective. Six inches maximum. Okay. So this is maximum a six inch fish. Jaw, which it uses to lure unsuspecting victims. Yeah, if it was big, it may maybe. It grow to about six inches long, though sometimes more. But this oh. little fish is a fierce predator. Number 17, On what? Snaggletooth. Okay, it's just deep sea fish. Bullies, that's actually this is just a list of deep sea fish. Star eater. This is not most terrifying real life fish ever. And not one of them has even been able to like bite a human being because it never come in contact with it. Of star eater. We've yet to have a fish that actually would come in. Okay. Number sixteen. All right, tiger fair fish. enough. Fish tiger fish are scary. Distinct. While hmm. other carnivorous fish are known to eat unsuspecting birds resting on the water, the but he just fucking. I love ram feeding. Ram feeding is where you just swim and the fish kind of just goes into your mouth. While other carnivorous. It just looks so hilarious. Fish are known to eat unsuspecting birds. <laughs> the fish just went whoop. Number fifteen. Gulper eel. Not scary. We can all agree that pelicans are funny looking. Delicious. Are you trying to get me demonetized, Watch Mojo? Did this video get demonetized? They've played Finding Nemo twice. Okay, somehow this video has not gotten demonetized, even though they played Finding Nemo twice. So I think we're okay. The but Jesus Christ. Stretchy. So we've had two fish that a human could possibly even come in contact with. One which has no records of attacking people. One which does. So we're at like a... I don't even know. A very it's low score. Strangest. I mean, it's kind of creepy looking, I guess, if that's what you want to go. But not most terrifying. Sheer terror. Those Number are not the 14, same thing. Lamprey, also known oh. as lamprey eels. Dude, lamp lampreys get such a bad reputation for just not hurting people. I hate how much people hate lampreys. They're just sucking. Sarlacc and space slug from Star Wars and Sand. They just want to suck onto rocks. They're not trying to hurt you. Worm from Dune. Meet your cousin, the lamprey. I mean, there are some parasitic ones, but I think the majority, I know there's parasitic ones, but I think the majority of lampreys are not parasitic. They don't eat other things. They just chill on rocks. Number 13, the black swallower. <laughs> Why are they showing an Asian food eating contest? The black swallower is a deep sea fish. Well, after a bit of research, we're convinced that what you're actually looking at are black swallowers disguised as humans. It's kind of rude. <laughs> these are these are black swallower, the deep sea fish disguised as humans. At least they're showing actual footage of a black, black swallower. Modest size, a massive flappy we watched a previous video where they had like the black swallower as like the 10th scariest fish in existence. And then the entire video was just of um, catfish. <laughs> Number 12. Wells catfish. There it is. Fair enough. That's Wells catfish are kind of scary. Says it's found all over Europe and this is the one of it eating a bird. This is like a medium-sized or like a baby Wells catfish hunting birds. It's absolutely insane. There are even stories of Wells catfish eating humans. This fish is yep. so large that I 100% believe that. If you ever wondered if those stories were true, in my opinion, that absolutely is. Wells catfish eating humans has absolutely happened. 
I told you I've I've encountered Wells catfish, giant ones, and uh, even even uh, other similar species that I've seen at man eating sizes in person. It would not surprise me at all. Number eleven, hagfish. How? Hag. What the it's fuck do hagfish do? It's, of a hag it's just fucking. It's just a worm. I mean, like what? How? It is like the bare bones, basic, like most primitive definition of a fish. Fish. We'll let you decide if it's. A it's place. literally just a it noodle. Ocean dwelling. Number ten, alligator gar. Not but scary. Was, alligator, was it just an obvious scapegoat? Well, yes. It has the jaws alligator gars are literally not capable of hurting people and have never hurt people. And the fear mongering on alligator gars is upsetting. So stop. These fish don't get tired. They just take a rest. Swimming with the fishes <laughs> already suggests. Isn't that what everyone does when they get tired? What? These fish don't get tired. They just take a rest. Unlike human beings who get tired and then never rest and stay tired their entire lives. Number nine, Paku. Piranhas are scary enough without. Paku are not even remotely but scary. This is only scary because someone made up a story or says that they eat people's nuts. <laughs> I don't know the validity of it, but apparently there's like a legend that Paku bite people's nuts. <laughs> Adding something so human to the faces of these otherwise alien looking creatures is sure to send shivers down the spine of even the most seasoned fishermen. Come nope. <laughs> Dude, they, every single time. How is this such a trend? Sure to send shivers down the spine of it. Even a seasoned fisherman shows a seasoned fisherman holding up the fish proudly. <laughs> Combine these. Number eight, cookie cutter shark. Also known as Cigar Shark. Also something that humans never interact with. The closest we've come to interacting with a cookie cutter shark is our submarines interacting with a cookie cutter shark. Asistius resiliensis. Asistius, exactly. Or more commonly known as the cookie cutter shark. <laughs> is there a horror film made about the cookie cutter shark? Also, why was Germa starring in that? No, <laughs> How did they let Germa <laughs> star in a cookie cutter shark horror movie? Yeah, topic. scary if you're like a shark or something else in the ocean that it's gonna hunt. Not scary if you're a human being which has never been bitten by one. Number seven, stargazer. Nope. Well, this is certainly. I mean, don't put your hand in their mouth and you're fine. It, that face just isn't where it's supposed to be. Aww. The stargazer's eyes That's are so mean. On the Number six, anglerfish. How many fish are we going to have that literally cannot even be slightly dangerous to humans? I'm so over it. Oh no, not a fish I won't ever see in my life, and if I did, it wouldn't attack me. So scary. Number five, goblin shark. One Has e How many have been deep sea? Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven-ish, eight. Nine. Horrifying so many of them are deep sea fish that humans will never interact with. It's insane. This is how these things bite. Oh. That's how most fish bite, by the way. Deep sea shark has pink fleshy they just protrude their jaw outwards. It's a lot easier than just running at the fish really fast. Number four, goonch catfish. That is a red tail catfish. <laughs> That's a parara, and not the same thing as a goonch. Not even from the same area remotely close at all. No, no. And that is a goonch. Ooh, and that is a Wells catfish. To to 6 .6 feet in length and We've seen three different catfish for this one clip. Way over 200 pounds. The That's Wells. Intimidating enough already. But the goonch catfish cracks the Not top a goonch. five thanks to the mouthful of sharp teeth it brings to the party. While appearance is That's the central metric by which we're judging fish today, we'd be lying. Research would be too much effort for a channel with a million subscribers. You're right, my bad. I should be easier on them. After all, they only have a couple billion subscribers. How are they going to be expected as such a small team of content creators to actually determine what fish they're talking about? If we my bad. Number three, frilled shark. A frilled shirt? Not intimidating. A frilled neck piece? Not scary in the slightest. Unless being worn by Pennywise the Dancing Clown. A what? frilled shark, on the other hand? Also not scary. Looks like it crawled out of a prehistoric past. Another deep and sea. That's not far Bro, that fish is fucking dying. On the other hand, this thing looks like it crawled that out of a prehistoric past. That fish is dead as hell. That is a frilled shark that's supposed to be a deep sea fish for some reason in an aquarium. That is a dead fish. Past. Eel like in shape with a face reminiscent it's of so a dinosaur. Cute. It's this so smiling. How is this scary? He's smiling. Number two. Sarcastic fringe head. What? <laughs> okay, the number two most terrifying real life fish ever is just one that opens its mouth really wide. 
horror movie filmmakers, take note. They're just kissing. Before we unveil our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. Anumara, also known as Wolffish. Is number one gonna be an Arapaima? They Atlantic showed a video wolfish. of an Arapaima earlier. Similar name, different fish, <laughs> the Atlantic Wolffish has got a mug only a mother could love. So smart. Love Wolffish. Just kidding, I hate them. Viperfish. Okay, Maybe just another tiny deep sea fish. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and no. ring the bell to get notified about our No, because you have 24 million subscribers and didn't even bother to figure out the difference between Venus two videos. giant catfish. You have the option number one, blobfish. The most terrifying real life fish ever is the blobfish, which in its natural environment, let me remind you, looks like a normal ass fish. It's just a normal fish underwater. It only falls apart when you pull it up from the ocean. It's unlike anything else we've seen on Earth. It looks like a caricature gone horribly it's, it's wrong. It's just a dead or, fish in the wrong pressure. The blobfish suffers aesthetically from being brought to the sea. Look, look it's, a, it's a normal ass fish. All right, I'm over it. Thanks, Watch Mojo, for another terrible video. Whoa.